The short video you're about to see will illustrate two cables exposed to the same flame in test conditions. The setup for this test is remotely based on the requirements of a UL VW1 vertical flame test, which is used to determine the flammability and flame retardant properties of wiring cables, such as those used in our cable assemblies. The flame is generated by a device similar to a Bunsen burner. The wire sample is mounted in a protective chamber and the flame is applied for 15 seconds and then removed. The flame is then reapplied either after 15 seconds or immediately after the flame on the sample self extinguishes, whichever is longer. For a sample to pass this test, the cable must self extinguish within 60 seconds of each flame application. A paper flag is positioned on the sample 10 inches above the point at which the flame touches the sample. For a sample to pass the VW1 test, the sample must not burn more than 25% of the indicator flag at the top of the sample and the surgical cotton at the base of the burner must not be ignited. This procedure is repeated five consecutive times for a total direct exposure to the burner of 75 seconds. As you can see from the first sample, it is coming nowhere close to passing this flame test. As you can see, the cable jacket is dripping away which is exposing the cable core and providing more fuel for the fire. This sample did not self extinguish when the flame was removed from the sample and the paper flag was 100% consumed. The drippings from the jacket and the core ignited the surgical cotton at the bottom of the flame. The second sample's jacket is charred and hardened around the core after the flame application. This is the desired effect from a flame retardant cable jacket. When the cable jacket chars and hardens around the cable core, it protects the core from ignition by limiting the fuel available to feed the flame. In conclusion, as mentioned earlier, this was a representation of a flame test and was not conducted in strict accordance to the VW flame test requirements.